Hey guys, so I'm gonna start showing you guys the pit box. Not a lot of people have access to it. We're gonna sneak in and I'm gonna show you. We're gonna start talking about pit selection. The position that you qualify the weekend before, you get first pick, second pick as you go. So the teams actually have the rights to choose where they want. So to this weekend, for, for example, Alex Palou qualified and he had, I think, the sixth, seventh or eighth pick. So what they did, they didn't pick, either you pick the first pit or you try to pick a teammate that it's easy for you to come in and out or you pick a gap. And actually this weekend they picked a gap. So basically when you walked in having a gap like this, he actually has a tricky pulling in, but he has an easy out, which it makes in a pit stop, you know, you have an easy out and you gain a second, it can actually relate to a two or three positions. So that's actually a huge advantage for them. Now, pit boxes, they're all custom made the teams make their own. We all choose what we need. So basically, Ganassi has, we're here on the NTT data pit box. We have Indy Lights running right now, but um, I'm gonna show you guys how it works. Come on. We're gonna have between eight to 10 people actually sitting in the stand. The strategist and the guy that will talk to Palu, which is Barry, he will sit here with his laptop and he's actually looking at the track and looking at the screen. We usually have a driver's coach sitting here, the fuel calculator, the engineer, the engine guys, and they're all monitoring everything. Come on over. I don't think we can show anything here, but uh, he's watching live the telemetry and everything that it will, what's going on in the engine. They're all through an intercom. Basically, you can plug yourself in and we're all talking with open mics and the headsets. And basically, that's how they run the car. You can see all the screens up there. So basically, that's all custom made for whatever the engineer or the strategist wants. So they have track position, gaps. They have an instant message with uh, race control, basically saying you, they, they can communicate between themselves. You got a penalty. We have a question about this or a question about that. So basically, this is the engineer office. The race car is my office put the two offices to go together to go win a race. Now, I'm gonna show you guys something very interesting. Back here, it's where everything stays. So, we have the tires layout, spare wings, so two front wings, one rear wing, the fuel tanks, all the, the air hoses for the gun. So basically the pit stop, we have the guns and the air jacket. You're gonna see during the race a lot of commotion, all the guys running back and forth because sometimes you gotta change your air holes. You have, you have a leak, uh, you have to do fuel calculations. That is a little device that actually, when the guy actually plugs in, somebody has to open the fuel tank so the fuel can flow quicker. So it's actually a pretty good setup and very well organized. These guys can make you win or lose a race. We're gonna go up to the sign where it says corkscrew. We're gonna talk about a little bit the history there. We're gonna talk about the view, which I actually never been there, so I'm pretty excited. Let's go there. My first time up here, and now I know why fans love this place. If you look at this view, you can see the paddock, you can see the motorhome, you can see the fan zone, and most important, you can see the racetrack. So, I think tomorrow I'm gonna come up here and watch the race. During the race, this place is packed. This is one of the best views. And now I'm gonna take you guys a little bit over to the top of the hill and we're gonna see the real works. We're on the top of the world, on the top of the hill. Actually, it's amazing. I've been here for 27 years and I've never had come up here. You have food trucks, a place that you can have some booze. The best view, which is the corkscrew. One of the most, if not the most famous corner in motor racing. 26 years ago, I was here doing an Indy Lights race. An Indy car race was out right after that. Mr. Zanardi made that pass on Brian Herda that became the icon and the most famous pass, which nowadays would be debatable if it was legal or not, but I think we start something there with that pass. So good memories from here, but I want to take you guys closer to the course crew and let's go take a look. A hundred feet of elevation as you come out of turn seven, 
You cannot see where you break. You cannot see when you turn left to go down the hill. And it's the most thrilling feeling. If I had to describe to you guys, it's actually being in a roller coaster, going up and down every lap. One of the most fun parts of the racetrack, my favorite racetrack. Welcome to Laguna Seca. Welcome to the court trip. That was a bit of a hike, which uh, I wasn't expecting to do this morning. We're done here in the course crew. Stay tuned for more. Guys, we're talking about a little bit of a fan experience. I hope you guys enjoyed today. This is one of the places that you can miss. There's a 360 cameras around there. You can come here, scan your name, and do anything you want. So I'm gonna go inside. I hope you guys enjoyed today. There's a lot more to come tomorrow. The championship is on the line. We're gonna show you a lot more content. Stay tuned.